This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. Okay. I go now to grieve yeah. in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, alright? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. For a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? 
I need the female wearing the red shirt. Got to you, little shit! Oh, Jesus! Oh. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir.
Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on, come on! So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Hold on. Oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew, I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! But you're, you're, you're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you, are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but... I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back, because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up.
We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... All right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. One more horde. That's your plan. That's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Locke's got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
John, move! You're not gonna tell me! What do we got? Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings. Whatever. It'll take me a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, it'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> Captain! Looks like you got about a quarter of them. 
Keep it up. Uh, I'm trying. There you go. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Locke's got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Copy that.
comes from here. Man, it does! More to come! Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news. Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out.
I got a better plan. did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With mean, the way you were one step ahead of him? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what, let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. That is, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John.
Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, uh any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep... I'm waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Curry out. Important project? What project? Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I'm going to need some shotgun ammo. Okay, then. Burn out the nests. Going to need Molotovs. Okay, very good. <sighs> this it? So, just this one ear then? Well, okay. Just this one? <sighs> okay. One ear. Good. Well, things must be slow out there, huh? <sighs> this it? So, just this one ear then? Well, okay. Just this one? <sighs> okay. One ear. Good. Well, things must be slow out there, huh? <sighs> this it? So, just this one ear then? Well, okay. <sighs> just this one? <sighs> okay. One ear. Good. Well, things must be slow out there, huh? <sighs> this it? All right. Corporal St. John, you take care now. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. God, it was this little place in Seattle, down by the wharf. Uh, used to serve the best rock fish in the world. Good luck with that. I heard they don't have any rations today. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, yeah. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Yeah, okay. Come on, this shit? This is some primo shit, let me tell you. Ah, oh, come on, man. See ya, Corporal. Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Come on in. Take a look around. Yeah. Okay. 
Corporal St. John, Adik. See you around. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, what would you have done with the place? Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, colder cave down that way. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismissed, Corporal.
Weaver, yeah, I can barely hear you, though. You're breaking up. It's this damn cave, man. I'm surprised the signal gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah, where's that? It's all I was right. at a refugee Corporal camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? One, two, yeah, one, two, one. that's the two, one. one with the two, fight and platter the and some shit. <laughs> Yo, yeah, anyway, when I left that, I left everything behind, including my tunes. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Radio me when you get there. We've out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. That'll last you. That all you need? Anything else? Okay. You got something in mind? Hmm? Not today? <laughs> all righty. Corporal St. Hey, John. Corporal St. John. Uh, Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Doc Menace? A recruit slit his throat ear to ear. This stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Doc was a good guy. I, I had an infection on my right arm. Thought I was gonna lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. Saved my life. Yeah, uh, the Doc was... he was all right. Well, okay, when you're ready. Yeah, what do you need? Oh, they call it petrol where I come from. I guess it's gas to you. All right, then. C Corporal St. John. Together. I'll, I'll see together. you around, yeah? Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Sergeant. Move, move, move. Come on. You can right. run faster than Corporal that. Corporal St. John. dead grandma can run. O'Brien, come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. She's pretty much the most good. Marsh, let's go look. Here's some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Okay, just a few more. <sighs> I gotta find more. Ah, 
Okay. <sighs> that should do it. O'Brien, come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John. All right, man. Okay, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on. These all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole. A big one. They fly the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Here they are. It's gotta be it. There's the flag. Still flying. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. God damn it. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, oh 
<laughs> what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. <sighs> I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Ah, uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. <laughs> 